paid for their time. So think about like doctors and lawyers, they charge an hourly rate because they just can't afford to just, people are like, can, you, can I have a half hour of your time just to like talk at you? I'm like, no, <laughs> like if you want my time, you should, you should pay for it because, because I'm valuable. And I think most professionals feel like that. So an environment where that can be sort of the, the, the model I think is key. That's interesting, Eric. So it's, it's a cleaned up uh, social media app for professionals uh, and uh, with with uh, verified identity identities so you know that you're talking to real people um, there's no advertising in it and you're saying it's a it's a subscription model so you've got to pay to use it to have a premium account is that correct yeah and it's it's an expert network so um, people can try it for free they don't have to buy a subscription to become an expert um, but eventually it'll be subscription model um, versus advertising just because of the privacy issues. We want to be privacy guardians, right? Yeah, and, and you'll probably get better uh, participants in there if they've got a bit of skin in the game. Um, how, how does the remuneration work for the experts using the platform? So um, a company would come in and hire an expert for their whatever they say their hourly rate is you know, like $200 an hour and we facilitate that payment and we just take 10% for the, the costs of processing the fees and, and the, the meeting actually, the virtual meetings happen on the app, on the platform. So they, uh, they have a meeting, you, you have a meeting with, with a, um, a, a person that you want to have the meeting with and it's a paid meeting and, um, and the, um, the expert gets paid and then you, your business gets paid as well. Very, very interesting model, Eric. Yeah, so I think we're excited. There should be something better like this, a new model for, for doing for doing business on social. Like it shouldn't be just spam and bots. And I mean, it's just so bad on a lot of the other sites. It's like, there's gotta be a better way. And so that's what we, we, we sort of had to solve. We're gonna experiment with a lot of different things, but um, one of the things we wanna expand into, for example, is, you know, can can people, hire not just experts, but can they hire speakers on the app um, for either virtual events or, or in-person events? You know, I think that's a very manual sort of tedious process today. Um, also another process we're looking to expand into would be like, can people hire advisors or, you know, board members? Um, that's a, those are all very processes that are just sort of people manually tediously try to figure it out today. It's different than full-time jobs because I think that there's a lot of other solutions out there for that. But I think a lot of executives want these sort of things. They want to increase their professional brand by doing speaking. They want to get board or advisory positions. And, you know, they would they would like to do expert advice sessions, you know, and get paid, paid for their time. I think those are all very logical things that professionals and executives would like to do. Yeah, I see a lot of value in this, uh, Eric, because um, LinkedIn has kind of devolved into a um, sort of show off session. And, um, and, and you know, it, 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 it's just a lot of people just self promoting, I suppose. But if you want to actually have a meaningful one hour with an important person that can help you, um, I, I can see that that would get their attention if they're on that network. Obviously, they're going to give you the time to speak to you at least. Um, and um, that's something I don't think is that easy to do on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is kind of not really a threat uh, to you with this business. Uh, it's a great idea.